Good afternoon, everybody. How you doing? It's wee Paddy from across the shock, and uh, I can't contain my excitement. And that usually means this is not going to be the best video, but what it will be is we'll be showing off my favourite custom knife maker here in the UK. Uh, yeah, there's no point in even trying to hide it. You know who it is. This was the first knife, I, the first proper custom knife I ever had from him. Uh, this was my specifications and I left him to do everything else with it. I just gave him what I wanted and this is what he made me and I absolutely loved it. And I didn't want any fancy back springs, I just wanted a custom knife that I could use. And I have used this knife from the day and hour I've got it. So... A lot of my, let's get to the point of this. Maybe people who don't know are just new to the channel. Ashley Harrison. He's the son, uh, and I think it's part owner, or his dad owns uh, Arthur Wright and Sons. Ashley makes custom knives as a hobby, right? So his prices are more than fair. And uh, I have to say, to be honest with you, I mean, I, I promote them all the time, both him and Arthur Wright. I think they're just smashing value for money knives. And if you're a traditionalist, they are for you. Full stop. The, you know, there's very few companies like the, the Little Messers that make the knives left in, in this country. And I believe Ashley is at the top of that tree. I genuinely do believe it. Now, there's other ones and they're good. Don't get me wrong. They're not, they're not bad. But Ashley, to me... It's just, and as a person, uh, him and his father, two really lovable fellas, for want of better words. <clears throat> but Ashley's knives, I adore. I adore them in hand. I adore his craftsmanship. I mean, this one, it's got, he always puts a nice strong pull on them. I love the nice strong pull. This sheep's foot is just beautiful. I even detailed it down to the shield. Uh, on this one, I didn't dictate uh, this was exactly what I wanted I sent to him. And uh, I've seen pictures of it, but pictures only show one side. You have to get it in hand before you can make a decision. But on, based on them pictures, inside my stomach, it's like two rabbits making a family inside my stomach. It is just turning at the minute. I haven't opened this. I just I, You can see it's all sealed. This is the way things come from Ashley. He does not put money into packaging. He puts his money into making the knife, which is absolutely understandable. For you know, he's he's making these. He's a one man show making these. This is his own, made by him. This is a proper working knife. This isn't ultra light. It isn't meant to be. Uh, it's got a strong pull. I love the easy open. Uh, everything about this is just a perfect working knife and you can see like this has not been shy at work and this has done fair share of work and I, I just adore it and he works in a one tool steel that's and um Ashley's blade of choice for his pocket knives a one tool steel I love it and the fact that he hasn't got it at a stupid Rockwell hardness that it's going to be really difficult to sharpen it's not it's made to be used and ease of sharpening but it's 01 tool steel. It's fantastic. I have never had a problem getting through any day's work with this knife. That's my choice. So I'm going to open it. And the anticipation. This knife on looks alone blew my mind. And I don't believe Ashley has made one custom like this before. I'm not 100% sure. I must just actually check whether he has. But... You know, <laughs> it gets to the stage where my anticipation in, in doing this video, because it, wasn't, it came in the post about two hours ago, and to wait this long is just an absolute nightmare for me. And I'm sort of mentally torturing myself, but just, do you know the way you, you, you have expectations? And I have actually in the highest of uh, expectations when I get a knife from him. And I just want this to be everything that it looked like on the picture. And I'm just so excited. So here we go. Let's get into it. <laughs> this is... Oh, 
there you go. That's the packaging you get. You get a bit of cardboard. No, it's actually a, oh, it's a padded folder. And then he's just taped the heck out of it. So that's the way it comes. It's the way they've always come. It hasn't changed. And I've been getting this knife for years now. Um, and this is my knife in this little bit of wrap. Bubble wrap. <laughs> just. I'll be damned with it. <laughs> The bugger, yeah, you'll have it wrapped up now, you see. So it's going to take me even longer to get into it. Oh, I wish you could feel it. <laughs> but I know you've all experienced this when you get something. You've just... I have wanted this type of a knife for a very long time. And, you know, I collect Barlow's. Uh, and my favourite Barlow's are the Barlow's that have something on the bolster. That is my just thing. So you can guess what I asked them to make me for. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. Let's get this last wee bit done. Oh. <laughs> I just... Oh. <laughs> oh, would you look at that. I have the uh, his maker's mark on there. Look at that maker's mark. And it's set in the most beautiful position. Again, I, I gave him the specifics of what I wanted. Um, and I left the design things to him. He has put that in the most beautiful place. But look, he's even put it on the back as well. He must watch my videos. I'm telling you. He, oh, I've just seen the back spring. <laughs> Look at this. I know that this is Turkish walnut. Oh, man. Just look at that. Just look. It's like a mocha and dark brown. It just looks spectacular. And I'm going to put some oil in that. And that's going to look even nicer. Look at this back spring. That's like a jeweled backspring, all done with Ashley's fair hand and a little file. I've never seen that pattern before from him. Never. It is amazing. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Right round to there. And a lovely cut off. Oh, man, that is just, that is spectacular. Look at that in the light. It is completely, and it's perfect. It's just perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, man. That is amazing. Again, the fit and finish from Ashley, you, you just don't find fault in it. He's so good at his trade. Um, let's just open it to see what of a blade pull I've got on here. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, that's a good seven and a half eight. That's the perfect weight for me. I love that. Look at that clip. I still, and I say it every time, that is the nicest clip. In fact, that's a little bit different than normal. This is another, is this an Arthur Wright and Son one? It's not an Ashley one. What's the difference is that it's just that beautiful swedge that Ashley puts on his. It really adds another dimension. And I think it's definitely, it looks, no, maybe it's not. But it looks a bit deeper here. I'll have to do the measurements and all later. But just that swedge makes just such a huge difference. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful knife. Absolutely. You can see how well that is stamped. And I've never seen him. This is the one thing I really wanted more than anything else was to have. Let me get a cloth. Was to have the, the bolster. Because in all my in my collection of Barlow knives, Ashley is the only one I don't have with a bolster that's got the markings on. And that takes this up another level again into my real collection pieces. And this is going to be our real collection pieces. Will I carry this? Absolutely. Would you not want to show this to people? Will I use it a lot? Probably not. 
but I will use it. And there's no point saying I won't, but, but it'll be incredibly light use. I'll have another knife on me whenever I carry this so that it can be used. That stamping is just beautiful. It's deep. It's just lovely. Oh, love, 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 love this. Um, I'm really into wood when it comes to traditional knives. Uh, and that Turkish walnut is gorgeous. I think I'm going to get that shined up and polished. I have a new polisher now so I can polish the, the life out of this. It is just beautiful. But that dual spine, that's really got me now, I have to say. Really got me. How lovely is that? Completely new to anything that he's done, in my, as far as I know. And there you can see, that's his, uh, that's the uh, tang stank on the, he's still got them there. Nothing on that side, but he went and done the full hog on both sides, which just, he'll never know how much he's pleased. I'm going to turn my top light on here. Sorry, I just want to make sure that you're getting a clear enough picture of just how flipping gorgeous this knife is. Is that better? Oh, can it be any better? I just love it. It's really deep bolster. And that, look at that. Oh, I think I might be sitting here just swooning and stoking a knife for the whole afternoon. And I just love that swedge. And he does it on both sides, which finishes off a knife to me. Ah, actually, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, I, I did pay for this, but actually gave me this at a very, very good price. Uh, I would say half the price it would cost if you had to buy it. But, oh my goodness, let me tell you. I know actually Harrison knives are hard to come by. I accept that. And, you know, not everybody are going to pay, but actually doesn't charge anywhere near extravagant prices. It's, you know, his prices are really fair for what he's doing. Absolutely really fair. And you're getting... You're keeping a, a, a small manufacturing company and a, and a man that works his days every day there to keep the factory going and then makes these in his own time at night time or at the weekends. Uh, that just alone makes this a very, very special knife. I am floored, actually. Really, really my favourite traditional Barlow by far. And most of that is because of you, because of who you are and uh, the generosity you've given to me just for just for showing off your knives that are just, <laughs> just, oh, just gorgeous. Absolutely lovely. I, I'm going to stop there because I am just going to keep saying the same things over and over again. I hope you agree with me. And the difference, look at the difference in... This is an Ashley Barlow. This is the normal Barlow and the bolster. He even went and put the bigger bolster on it. Um, <laughs> just, I mean, this is an Arthur Wright. That's a Barlow bolster. That's what they are. Um, this thing that they have to be a certain length is nonsense. They have to be whatever the maker puts on them and calls them. And this is a just beautiful, beautiful Barlow. Oh. Right, my Saturday is flipping fantastic. I hope yours is too. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, I haven't really said anything, but look, I'm going to have to take it away. I'm going to cut with it. I'm going to do all the normal things we do. And then I'll come back and give a level-headed response. I'm just going to check sharpness. And to be honest with you, I couldn't give a monkey's whether it's blunt. But I just feel as if I do it with every other knife. Let's just do it with this. <laughs> Ashley doesn't let you down do you know that he just doesn't look at that listen to that going through it it is perfect my perfect Barlow oh. shall we hear it close good night Barlow oh that is such a lovely pull oh <laughs> Auditory sexiness. Ashley, thank you so much, my friend. That is just more than what I expected. And yet no more than what I expected in the other hand. So 
There we go. Stephen, Paddy, whatever you want to call me, you can call me whatever you like today. This has made my day. This has made my collection. I've now got a nicely Harrison, which has gone up in my Barlow box. Uh, I've already got one in the Barlow box because, you know, he made me that other custom Barlow. But this is going to my high section, which is the Barlows that have something on the bolster. I'm away to drill and swoon for the rest of the day. Take care. Thank you so much for watching. I'm away. Have a wonderful Saturday. Bye-bye.